Hello there, uh, I just thought I'd make a video just like uh, last year to talk about uh, what makes Jehovah's Witness a cult. Just, uh, I just found this, I'm just reviewing my notes and I found this, uh, I found this uh, page that is uh, not, Numera is uh, showing uh, what makes it different from a religion, why is this a cult, how is, it, how is this a cult? Uh, so, uh, there is a shunning, versus mandatory shunning for ex-members. Uh, this is something that's unique to a cult. If somebody leaves and was uh, once part of the Jehovah's Witnesses, you're not allowed to talk to them. Uh, they're not allowed to talk to you. Uh, so, it's a separation from the mainstream or the norm. You're not, you're gonna have to limit your contacts with the outside world uh, if you're a Jehovah's Witness and Jehovah's Witnesses are not really in communication with uh, outside world when it comes to family uh, to friends for example they're not allowed to read critics from the group uh, especially non-member uh, ex-members like myself apostates that are talking about their experience or trying to inform them of uh, whatever it's not even doesn't even have to have to do with the, the religion uh, they're not uh, supposed to uh, have contact with them uh, and read uh, anything that's critical of the group so you're not allowed to google Jehovah's Witnesses and read on the history if it doesn't come from publications uh, if you're a Catholic, you should be able to research your religion with no problem. Uh, Muslim, same thing. Uh, higher education, at least for me, was not allowed. Uh, it's supposedly one of the deprived uh, uh, gateway to sin. Uh, which is uh, usually when you're not in a cult. Education is always a good thing. Uh, there is a record of failed prophecies that predict the end of the world. Uh, this is not something that you find in Catholic religion. Uh, they claim to have the right interpretation of these uh, Bible prophecies that calculate this and that. And it, it's all focused on the end. What's gonna happen after the end? We all we we can predict the future, all that that things because we have the the knowledge that's come comes from the divine. <coughs> uh, you're not allowed to read past publications of the group, uh, so there's control of the information that you get. Uh, the no blood transfusions. This is unique to I think Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, there's a secret manual uh, for the elders, so there's uh, you don't get all the information. There's no transparency there. You cannot. Uh, they don't want you to know certain things, and you're not allowed to read certain things. And uh, when it comes to pedophilia and sexual abuse. Uh, they try. They never. Gonna, they're never going to be talking about the topic. If they're going to be talking about the topic, they're going to be uh, sugarcoating, like making it like sound like everything is fine, and it's actually the outside world that's spinning things to make it uh, seem uh, worse than it is. Uh, there's actually a rule that allows pedophiles to not get punished or not get reported to the, the police uh, if the victim doesn't have two witnesses uh, for, for the crime even if it's there the, there's a child they're being sexually abused uh, the elders are not gonna believe them because uh, they don't have any witness that were there to see the, 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 the thing so that's one of the rules that's in the secret elders manual uh yeah and uh, so many rules uh, exist that are not bible based 
for example, no beards. You're not allowed to have long hair. Women cannot wear lots of jewelry or makeup. No tattoos. Uh, no sex before marriage. Uh, no drinking, no drugs. Uh, these are all added rules that have... They're not, they're not found in the Bible. Uh, well, the, the sexual... The, the view of sexuality. Uh, how it's... First, either not present or uh, seen spin in a very negative light everything is like focus on this is the end of time that's coming and we're very close and there's a build-up and anticipation and now is it's not a time to be spending any any uh, time in this world or working for anything in this world everything has to be focused on this final time this final moment don't make plans for the future. This is not the time uh, Armageddon is coming. Uh, your reputation can be very. Uh, there, it's reputa the reputation is based on your status in the organization, the how much you do, not who you are, and it's very fragile. So. You can be ruined, nothing. Somebody doesn't like you, they start to spread, spread a rumor that you're not spiritual, you're partaking in things that are wrongly viewed, and uh, next thing you know, uh, you're no longer... Uh, people would look down on you or they, they would avoid you and you don't understand why. Uh, maybe that uh, so and uh, I don't know that if that's happening in the Catholic uh, religion I don't think people are nosy like that they don't want to be in the business of other people like that they don't want to be back talking in the back of the, of the people maybe they could I don't know I'm sure some places people would spread lies about oh that person is really not into whatever they, they're trying to portray them the self to be into uh, okay so next one is uh, it's almost done that's my last one uh, so the next one is uh, that following rules are harmful uh, so they tell you that these rules come from God these are perfect laws the, the instruction manual to how to live a successful life but when you put them in application, uh, you don't get the benefits. You don't get what was promised to you. Uh, you're not getting uh, good things from following the rules. You're getting bad things from following the rules. And finally, last point is uh, women. I don't know if I'm repeating myself, but anyway. Uh, women uh, must uh, dress modest. Uh, so anything that's showing off some skin or seem to be sexy, too tight, uh, skirts that are too short, uh, this is uh, really bad. It's, it's, uh, you're allowed to approach a woman and tell her, you know, that's really too sexy, you need to wear something more uh, modest. Um, which I don't think it's people's business to go, go and talk to people and tell them how to dress. Uh, women need to be submissive to men, which is not the norm, uh, because in society uh, it's equal, men and women, uh, and uh, also the role of women, where women are not allowed to pr pray publicly, uh, they're not allowed to have certain talks uh, they're not allowed to have certain positions or uh, when you are in mainstream society uh, women have many roles very important roles as well um, so uh, no upper echelons for women and uh, that's it that's it for my uh, video thank you bye